So, the tutorial world is now infected with some people who think they are so funny by making these fake, fake tips for the beginners. And I mean, I understand that you're just joking, but at some point, it will be non-beneficial, especially for the beginners, because they would take this as serious, and then they would try it, and then they would fail, and then they would get discouraged to continue this Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft is hard enough already without any information from outside world. And if we keep giving them trash tips, it's not gonna go good. So anyway, uh, today I am going to not expose, it's more like debunking some some of these troll tips that bigger youtubers make i'm sorry if this is like oh my god you're being too serious or whatever no i'm i'm not i'm not like trying to ruin the joke or something it's just that if you know that this is a joke then it's good but mostly this video is for the beginners out there the actual beginners who doesn't know which one is uh, a genuine tips and which one is not real and it's important for them to know so they would not dis get discouraged to continue this game enough chit chatting Let's get right to it. The best Minecraft tips for beginners. When you're in the nether, make sure to get hit by fireball. It will give you the fire resistance effect. It won't work every time, so make sure to keep on trying. For this first one, we are going to need to go to the nether. So I need obsidian. This is how you make a nether portal, okay? At the very least, you need the two base there. And then three height right there. You should end it up with this shape. Uh, just light up with right here, and we go in. All right, now we just need to spawn a gas, uh, some gas, I think. Okay, let's let's spawn some right here. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot you're so big. You'll see that this doesn't work at all. Yo, yo, yo! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! See, you see there, I'm wearing full netherite, so uh, there's not much of a damage there, but if I don't, at least I don't wear my chest plate, let's see. See, I'd say significant, significantly more damage there. Ah! Ah! See, see, I, I take a lot more of damage uh, from the gas. It doesn't give you any advantage by getting hit with the fireball. Anyway, let's continue to the second one. If you see an enderman, look in their eyes and they'll give you lots of ender pearls. I have covered this by the way in my series. It's Minecraft tips for beginners. Uh, you should check it out. I will I will put the card right up there. We need to spawn just an enderman. So if we spawn one and look at their eyes, they get mad because you're not supposed to look at their eyes. They get mad. And if you're looking like this, they won't move. But if we move a little bit, they will start to attack us. See, 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 they will attack us. They they don't give us free. They don't give us a uh, free ender pool. They just attack us like like there, like that. Ah! Dang, 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 dang! Oh my god! Ah! I don't have any weapon. I don't have any weapon. I don't have any weapon. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Ah! Okay. Well, on to the next step. If you're free falling and don't want to die, instead of trying an MLG water, do an MLG milk. You'll have a 50% higher chance of landing it. Okay, so the third one is about um, MLG. He said that instead of doing MLG water bucket, we should do an MLG milk bucket. Oh, that is so rich. Okay. I will show you the MLG water bucket and the MLG milk. No, the first one we do the uh, normal one first, the water bucket. That is if I don't suck at this. Let's see. Oh man. Okay, okay. Let, let me try that again. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. See, this saves you. This won't hurt you in any way. Now, if we do the milk, now if we do the milk bucket thing, it just won't happen, let's see. See, you're just drinking it. Okay, so don't ever try it. You're just going to drink that. Okay, let's just let's just go on to the next one. Here is a tip from our beloved K 
Kemen 18. Minecraft tips for beginners. In ancient cities, jump around these jiggle slabs to gain XP. Okay. Now, uh, I forgot what they are called, but don't, don't do that, okay? Okay, now we are at the ancient city and we have these two things so close together. I really forgot what they are called, but... Okay, that is the first warning, nothing bad happened, but if we keep doing that, let's see what happened. If we keep jumping, let's see what happened. Okay, that is the second warning. Oh my god, it's so dark. Okay, what's going to happen here? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so scary. Yeah, that, that, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. The the warden is going to spawn and uh, it will essentially chase you and they are very strong. And they are very strong. You know, <laughs> you, you, you don't want to mess with them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm so scared, but this is the first time I've been to ancient city and that is so scary. Oh my god. Anyway, never do that, okay? You never ever do that. So let's go to the next tips. This one, uh, I think this one, it's about the end. Let's see. Sleep in the end to get to the diamond dimension. Okay, how, how do we do this? Then, anyway. Okay, so let's create a small portal. Right. I think here is good. By the way, you can't do this in survival, okay? Don't cheat. This is just to test everything out. Oh, we also need a bed. Let's see if sleeping in the nether are going to take us to the diamond realm. And after that, we are going to be rich. Let's see. All right, we are at the net at the end. What is happening here? Why are you here? And anyway, I've been here before. Uh... Okay, let's let's just try it out. Oh. Nothing happened. It just blew up. If you're playing with uh, on survival mode, most likely you're going to die from that explosion. You don't believe me? Let's try it in uh, survival mode. I have full netherite there. Full netherite with protection. You don't believe me? Here. Protection 4. Full netherite protection 4. Dead from the bed. So, don't do that. Let's go into the next one. In hardcore mode, wear a pumpkin with curse of binding to get night vision. Oh, curse of binding. Okay, so let's set our bed about here. Okay, everything is in the chest now. And now we go to carve pumpkin and we enchant it with curse of binding. Okay, if you see here, we're enchanted with the curse of binding. Now, and we put it on. Okay, this doesn't look like it's giving any night vision because it's day and I'm using a resource pack called Fulbright, so basically it's always uh, night vision, but the main thing here is that you cannot take it off. You cannot take it off. I'm, I'm clicking here. You cannot take it off. That is the curse of blending. The only way you can take it off is if you yourself. Now. That's the end. that's the only way you can take off any item with curse of binding, any armor, anything that you put on your body. That's the only way you can take it off. It doesn't give you any effect whatsoever. And I'm so sorry to say this, but this is a very dangerous tip for beginners because if they try this in hardcore, they will lose their world. It's either getting stuck with that pumpkin fission or losing your world. Now let's go to the next one. Fall on flowers from over a hundred blocks to take no damage. Okay, fall on, fall on flowers, that's not gonna work. By the way, this is sort of true in a, in a sense, this is true. In a sense, just in a sense. This is not completely true because not all flowers uh, would negate your damage like that. Oh, oh, you can do that? I didn't know you can do that. What? Oh my god, you can you can switch between armor and elytra like that? I never knew that. Wow, the more I know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. let's get back to the problem. Okay, so this is um. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. So this is the 100. This is height 100. Okay, I think sweet berries is one of the things that will negate 
they will negate our uh, fall, but it doesn't seem to be the case there because I failed. See, it negates our fall damage, but that's not that's not a flower. That's a uh, sweet berry, sweet berry bush. I guess I don't know how to call it. And the other thing I believe is twisting fine. Let's see. See, it negates your damage. So that those are the two. Uh, I think those are the two plants that will save your life from 100 blocks or any blocks fall essentially. So no flowers will negate your damage if you are falling down from a height. Let's go to another one. When low on hearts, stand on a lightning rod during a thunderstorm to regenerate. Yeah, no, no, that's not how it works. Okay, now we are standing uh, pretty high in the sky and we are standing on top of a uh, lightning rod. Let's turn the weather into thunderstorm. Thunderstorm and let's see, does it? Generate our heart. Well, it shouldn't give us anything. Does it? Does it do nothing for us or something bad happened? Let's wait for the thunder to come Oh my god, where is the thunder? Okay, I need to be a little creative here. Um, give there a trident. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you could see that um, we are very much uh, damaged by the uh, by the. <laughs> by the uh, by the thunder there see yeah. <laughs> so, so so yeah the tips uh the tips is complete uh trash uh, we are getting damage from the thunder it doesn't generate your health or whatever it was it doesn't give you any advantage anyway it's still going let's go to this let's go to the next one oh my god yeah 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 i get it i get it i get it i get it oh my god mine in deserts for extra emeralds okay for the uh emeralds one uh it's pretty hard to demonstrate but basically you don't you don't get more emeralds in desert i think it's uh some kind of hill biome where they actually spawn you should check the wiki for that i i don't really remember about that but Let's get to the next one. Wear netherite boots to be immune to lava damage. Okay, so I am already in netherite boots. And there is a lava down there. Why don't we try? Okay, let's forget that happened. Okay, let's jump. Yeah, we are not immune to lava. We are still burning and pretty much damaged. Oh god. So yeah, we are not immune to lava. Go to the next one. If you find a desert well, dig straight down from the center to always find diamonds. No, no, this does not happen. Desert wells have nothing in the middle of it but water. So far as I know, I I think they add some kind of a dig site there, but I don't really I don't really remember. But you don't always find diamond uh, by digging straight down there. Go into the next one. Use birch wood to make a house. Make sure to share with friends. Well, I mean, if you like birch wood, why not? It's not it's not exactly a tips. Um, birch wood is not actually bad. I don't. I personally don't really prefer that. I prefer spruce woods. But if you like birch wood, go ahead. Anyway, I uh, thank you so much for watching. If you really like what you see, please consider subscribing. This took quite a while to do and quite a bit of jump scare. Comment down below if you want me to do something like this. Maybe uh, refer me to a link where I can where I can debunk uh, or testing uh, stuff like this. I also do a series, a short series called Tip Buster, where I test uh, Minecraft tips everywhere on the internet, whether it's bollocks or not. You can check it out, I will put the card up there, and if you like it, again, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, or leave a comment down below. I would really love to have a conversation with you on the comment down below, I will respond to anyone I, I try to be. Until next time, I'll see you. Goodbye!